I'm going to show you a traffic sign classification using TK Inter. Here is the GUI if you can see here this is a GUI of uh, the traffic sign classification so how it works first you have to upload here is the button when you click on it so you just choose any class for example here is the image that shown 70 so when I click on it it asks me classify so it shows the 70 limit okay let's test another image for I'm going to go to the another image in the test I'm gonna take this one so let's see so keep right so how it works so we're gonna take uh, one more example of this one let's see how well it predict it, it show limit this so this is the prediction this is the uh, classification uh, traffic class cla classification of sign how the model classify when you give give an image to the model I'm going to show you the uh, code how the code works working so first of all for this application first you need to do here if you see uh, the number of classes that I have here is the folder so you have to download the first data set I'm, I'm going to upload on on the drive so you can get it from here so in the your data set make sure you have training and test these are most important just keep these for a while so training it contains the training uh, classif classes of 42 and here is the labels that are in the csv file so it's it's within uh, image name and the label i can show you how it looks like here you can see if if you if you see this one for example here is i have it show you class number and the class and the, it's a uh, uh, gui where is uh, actually uh, roi uh, area um, area of interest uh, so where is the object is locating like target that we are focusing over area of object uh, interest so here is the data set after that first you need to do just run this one this file will create a model class or might be you can use whatever uh, so uh, you have to create one model you need the one model class that later you want to uh, use as a GUI where you can predict on the real uh, time like with with an application not the real time so i'm going to show you how the code is working here so i already wrote the code first what you need to do go into the exact same directory where you uh, just make sure you are in the same path for example if i run the ls it's give me where i am it show me i am in this particular folder where i have this uh, this uh, number of uh, things in that folder you can see here it's give us me where i am you can also check uh, your directory with other method fetch directory or something like uh, that uh, you have to first know that you were where what is your current directory and then it will give you uh, you can move ahead further so it show me like with the help of cd i can you can go uh, to the that uh, directory so so you can see so it show me where I am now. So when I run this, it show me I'm, I'm here. So if, if you are in your main directory, what you need to do, just write current uh, this path and exactly your folder path. For example, uh, my folder path is under this one. So I have to write this one so I can go to that particular path. So this one path. So then I have to copy that folder name. So for example, I'm going to go there. So if, if I run this, it show me now I'm here. So when I, I want to go into the next folder. I'm just copying and pasting. Yeah, now I'm, I'm in that folder. So after that, what do you need to do? just run this code here is the main code what how how it code this code is working here loading images from the directory with the image size of this one and it loading the images and saving the images and the labels in into list after that here you have to define your classes and the current path it's get uh, cwd it's getting your current path and then after getting the current path it's getting the IDs class IDs from your data 
so for example from this folder data dash data and then we have underscore and then we have the next uh, thing uh, your folder so with the help of this one so data uh, you have to write forward slash not the underscore forward slash and then trend so it will it will go uh, with the help of this you can go to your folder data and then trend forward slash you can go this folder it's getting your IDs with uh, with from the class and it's getting the IDs and then ex extending these IDs with the uh, labels so after that converting the numpy array after that as usual we need to split the data into training and test set and then reshaping here is the model that uh, we built and after building the model uh, here is uh, the softmax that classify 42 classes and then we run this code with the batch size of this so you can see here it's showing me an, an accuracy of 98 and 99 percent for validation test after that i plotted the accuracy and validation curve uh, and later so after that i'm going to check this one again the path so data because and then list so data dot test so we, i'm going to take the test sample and then again, again going to predict so here giving me the accuracy on the test sample and i'm going to save the test model where i'm predicting this one in again in the tra tra uh, traffic dot classification dot model so i'm going to show you here here you can see i'm 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 writing this model here with dot h5 previously on the training set you can see here what i am doing i'm just saving this training and validation model here with the model so as it's, it's on you which one you use so i i did it in, in a both two steps first training and validation and then later training uh, testing uh, accuracy data set so here you can see how the model is predicting on the testing accuracy for that predictions so i'm going to save the model again here so this is uh, the model that i'm going to save it again here but it's it's the same model but it's just uh, on the testing i'm twice saving but it's on you either you can save your model here or you are saving your model or here it's on you if i if i'm going to make it this one so basically this is the same model i'm just here predicting and testing the model and then i'm saving uh, the model so if you save early that's okay if you want to save here it's on it's 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 on you so this one is the model that you can use it and uh, so both are the same model so i'm gonna delete this one so you can keep this this model that you will get an idea which one is working so after running this code up to here when it, it when you run this code it will gonna show you the accuracy and everything so after that what you have you need to do you you need to test the model so i'm going to show you how you will gonna test uh, the model so let's i'm gonna first show you how this code is working so i'm gonna run this cell you're just gonna see how this code is working so i'm going to run this code So you can see here it's static and now the code is working so i uh, just uh, to show you so this code is completely working you, you don't need to modify it so here is uh, this cell is running it's showing a static over here so we have to wait so here you can see i'm getting the accuracy this time so meanwhile it, uh, the code is running so i'm going to show you the other things so how we can test the model so here is the testing code so let's See how it's working so here is a testing code what should what do you need to do import the necessary libraries that we need for the model loading and the tk enter you can see here tk enter tk enter and then here is the classification model so make sure your classification model is in the same path here is the code here is uh, the model both are in the same path otherwise you have to define uh, your directory with uh, like and uh, uh, forward slash and something like slash uh, your directory uh, backward slash not the forward so you have to define your directory and something like that so so far you don't need to define because both are in the in the same directory so here you need to define your classes 
and the model uh, this function will return model and class number after uh, during the prediction so here is the gui that we defined with the help of tk enter and and the size and and the labels on it and everything and the color and everything within this function so here is the model that classifying so it loading the model and resizing the images and passing uh, the images to the model and then model will predict and show you the results so here is the classification the button that we have showed and here is the uploaded function uh, with, a, uh, with the exception if you uh, upload something wrong it will gonna give you some error so let's, let's run this code how it will gonna work so when i run this code so you can see here here is uh, the interface it's showing the button and so it's asked me to upload uh, the image so let me, let me run it again so got some error So now it working so I'm gonna run this model for example we have a T so run it and class predict so you can see a T so I'm going to take another example let's see classify left turn so how this code work so you can also see here the results how the results are looks like so it's, it's training the model it's taking some time so basically this is the whole uh, project that I, I, I was trying to show you Hope you understand and I'll upload this code on the directory where you can get uh, these both uh, code files model and the data that is really important for you to train the model so these three three things I'm I will gonna upload for you so uh, these four things the data and uh, uh, the uh, pi file GUI file and the training the model that we are training the model here to show you the example how the code is working so thank you so much for watching this code hope you like it and i'm gonna upload the more videos on these things so please subscribe this channel